Now I'm going to click on the weekly online activity and I can see my students activity from one week to the next. So February 14th, Valentine's Day, there seemed to be not just a whole bunch of participation, but if I remember correctly, that's when we had a nice little ice storm. So that kind of explains to me what was going on at that moment. And then 314, that was spring break. So that kind of explains to me as well why I have a dip in these two areas. Um, but it looks like I've got a nice amount of participation beyond that. And if I scroll down, I can see, for example, in the Chapter 7 discussion forum, I have 30 students, 117 pages were viewed, and there were 64 participations. What that means is um, students took action 64 times. So looking at a page is not an action. You're just accessing the page. Participating with a page means you've left a comment, you have clicked on something, uh, some sort of action was taken by that student. And so again, here I can take a look and see that uh, my students are participating pretty well with discussion forums. I've got 63 taken action on chapter two, chapter three, another 63. And then I come up to the GWA, which stands for a graded written assignment, the census assignment. I have 30 students. They looked at my page with the instructions 244 times, which is nice. And then I have 34 participations. That, that means that every student likely turned in their assignment and then a few of them came in and left me a note or maybe uploaded a second uh, revised copy of their research assignment. I'm going to click on students now, the student tab, and I can see all of my students with their grades, percentage of on-time submissions, when they participated last, the last page that they viewed, at least the date, and then how many pages they've looked at, and then how many times they have participated in assignments. And so I can draw some correlations here. If I have a student that is turning in assignments 80% of the time, and I see that the grade is teetering and about to go into the C level, the C category. I can talk about, uh, I can talk to these students about getting this, um, this work in on time. And again, I can go over here to the envelope, click on students who have some late work that happens to be seven, send a message to them. Hey guys, don't forget to look at the calendar and the syllabus. Or if I click over here on the missing, hey folks, we're missing some assignments. You need to make sure yada, yada, yada. Or I can uh, send messages to students within a certain score range. Now, we can also, if I throw in 90 to 100, send congratulatory messages to students who are doing really well. Um, so this doesn't have to be about students who are struggling or failing or that have gaps. We can uh, identify students who are doing really well and just let them know, yes, you know, we notice you too. And then if you'll notice here, there are 18 students, but this is BCC'd to them so that the students don't, don't know who's in the group that's getting emailed. And then finally reports. You can run reports on missing assignments, late assignments, so on and so forth. Course activity. These reports are um, kicked out in a spreadsheet format. And so I'm not going to run the report because it's just a whole bunch of cells full of uh, data and inf information, but you can really dig down deep um, and see when students access which pages, at what time, is it two in the morning versus uh, during the day. Um, and you can see when they're taking their exams, when they are participating in discussion forums. And so you may have some students who are struggling with their grades. So let's say you, you may have a student who has a, a 75 and you see that they're not doing well on the discussion forums. And so when you click on course activity, it shows you that this student is replying at 1130 at night, 30 minutes before this assignment is due. And so again, you can message that student and let them know, hey, try to complete this 
a day prior instead of 30 minutes prior. Another thing I can do with the weekly online activity page is click on these three buttons, click on data table, and I can click on these little links. So for example, page views, 162. I can see who viewed this particular page, who didn't participate. So I see that 30 people viewed, zero people didn't view, 29 participants, one did not participate. And again, I can kind of cross-reference this and whichever student did not participate, I can take a look at their grade, see how well they're doing. And for example, if this were my syllabus page and I see that one student hasn't looked at my syllabus yet, I can correlate that with whether they understand when assignments are due, my late work policy, uh, things of that nature. I can also click on resources and I see that my course homepage has been accessed 1.7 thousand times. That's pretty awesome. I've got a um, pretest that has been accessed 82 times. That is also awesome, but I noticed that only 23 out of my 32, 30 students have done the, the pretest. I see that 15 out of 30 have participated in the discussion forum, and so I need to email those students that still haven't done that work. So to summarize what we've done so far, within Canvas you have a variety of ways to access student information, whether that's when they are logging in, when they're accessing your quizzes or pages, and you can take a look at some data like this. You have one student that has 199 page views versus another student that has 80. Simply reaching out to this student with 199 page views and offering them the opportunity to engage in a dialogue with you. Uh, maybe you do this face to face through Zoom or just an email and just ask, hey, I noticed that you've been really clicking through a lot of pages. Is everything okay? Are you understanding the content? Are you struggling in any way? And at the very least, the breaking down of this data gives the student an opportunity to engage you in a conversation, build a relationship with you, and it lets them know that you're paying attention to what they're doing in your class.